Hello. I have once again neglected to charge my camera, so we'll see how I go. I'm going to try not to talk quickly, but, you know, there's the pressure of battery drainage, which makes me hurry up. So last week I had something on the loo, and I said it, I probably wouldn't get it finished for this week. So in news that is surprising nobody, I don't have it finished. I do have progress, like it has, uh, you can see just in there, I've got some progress. I'm maybe halfway through, I don't know, I don't measure these things. Um, but this is how it's looking. So this is the vein of opal from Changeling Coloured Yarns. Uh, and it is doing beautiful things. The colour play is just exquisite. I'm so excited. I didn't sound excited. <laughs> I am excited though. That was so deadpan. I'm so excited. Um, so I am excited. I am enjoying it. It's weaving up beautifully. It's just a little slower than I would hope because other things. And so hopefully maybe by next, look at that purple though. Look, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. Certainly not on that angle. Look at these little patches of purple. Just gorgeous. Stunning. Um, maybe by next week. We'll see. If everybody thinks happy weaving thoughts, I might get this off the loom. I don't know that I'll get it wet finished, but I might get it finished and off the loom. But I have been doing a little bit of work on something else that I last showed you, I think, last year. And Susie, it's not the cross stitch. So I saw Susie today. Hi, Susie. And she did mention the cross stitch. And I did mention to her that one of the cross stitches that I've got that I've got in progress at the moment is coming up for its 10th anniversary of when I started it. So I really should try and finish that this year so that it's a nine year project rather than a 10 year project. We'll see how I get on with time. But what I do have, just let me shake my tripod, um, is this. And I think I showed you this last year. Um, I'm trying to find, it's crochet, so I'm trying to find the hook so I don't unravel it. You would think that I would plan these things before I press record, and I never do. Here we go. So this is my Magic Ball blanket, which is not yet blanket sized, but it is about that big. So this is my leftovers from crochet and weaving. So every time I have, um, this is very repetitive for people who watch all of my videos. Hi, if you watch all of my videos, I appreciate you. Um, I'll actually show you the ball. So if you're new here, is this the one that's attached? Maybe. So this is one of, I've got two, I've got a smaller one in there as well. This is my leftovers. So every time I have like too much to throw away, but not really enough to make something out of, I put it in the magic ball. And then when the magic ball is large, I make things out of it. And I'm, I've woven with it and I've crocheted with it. And this is my current project with it, which is going to be a blanket. It's a little small at the moment, but I love this. I love this because it's so, you know, random with all the colors. There's no planning, just, as, oops, as and when I come up with some yarn, that's not a sentence. As and when I end up with some loose yarn, there we go, uh, it gets added into the magic ball and then I'm making things and this is what I'm making at the moment. So I can sort of, if you've been watching my videos, my videos, <laughs> I had two coffees at lunch, um, <laughs> which is always my excuse, isn't it? I'm falling over my face because I had two coffees. Um, you might recognise some of these yarns, like there's the, there's the 80s arcade carpet yarn just there. Uh, so this is not as big as it needs to be and I've still got quite a lot of yarn left to use up. And the thing about this is I would love to tell you which pattern I'm using and I don't know. Because when I got the pattern, I downloaded it from the internet, which is this whole new technology we've got now called the internet. And then my computer died and I lost my browsing history and I had already reached the repeat stage because once you get I'm not holding that up very well there we go once you get past these sort of foundation rounds in the middle this is all just repeats and it just it's just increases when you get to the points and you don't have to have the pattern anymore so I had very tidily put the pattern in the recycling bin and realized that I hadn't written down which pattern it is but it is a star baby blanket it's not going to be baby blanket sized it's going to be a bit bigger than that and that's caught on itself, that's okay. Um, there are loads of patterns on the internet for free star baby blankets. Yes, these are words that make sense. Um, so I can't recommend you one, I can't recommend you this one. I wish I could, because it's a good one, but um, I don't know which one it is. So that's how that's going. Now that we're cooling down a bit, um, I'm more inclined to crochet, and I am a slow crocheter, so like this much, I know people who could do this in a morning, but this has taken me, you know, a couple of months. Um, so we'll see how I get on with the rest of that. 
but that is what is in progress at the moment. I do need to look at the cross stitches again, but that is what I have for you this week. And that is all I have for you this week. So thank you very much for watching. I really do love this. I love all the color, the color chaos. It's a little bit of chaos. I'm just gonna hold that up because I need a thumbnail. I'm just gonna hold that up for the thumbnail. There you go. Um, and thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourself. Have a good rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.